Yeah, you gotta do what it takes within God's boundaries, make sure it's moral, ethical, and legal to get a good workout in. Whether you gotta drink some coffee, you gotta work out with a friend, you gotta ask a person you're attracted to to spot you, or just say, hey, can you watch me do this? Or just do it in front of them without saying it. You gotta use these little advantages to move to your 100% maximum capacity. It is so important to tap into your full physical potential that I can't stress it enough and I will continue to make videos about it. And then on top of that, after you're nice and tired or worn out and you need a little more invigoration and rejuvenation, you get in that water. If you don't have a spring, then you go to a river. If you don't have a river, you go to a waterfall. And if you don't have a waterfall, you go to a high altitude lake. And if you don't have a high altitude lake, you go to the ocean. And if you don't have the ocean, then you go to your cold shower. One day, Reminder that it's your job to have fun. I got her, guys. She came swimming with me. The trick was apparently when I told her I want to go swimming with you, she was sold. That was nice. That's the key. People need to feel important around you. It's very important to feel important. You do care what people think as much as you might tell yourself you don't. And polar plunging is good for you because it's a free lymphatic pump and it's easy. You don't even have to do much. You just have to have the courageousness to step into that cold water, especially the fresh living water. The world is made, what, 70-80% water? Your body 70-80% water? Maybe we should spend some more time in the water. 70-80% might be a little extreme, but maybe if you're approaching that, that would be good. It kind of gets, when you first jump in, the water, the, your blood pumps to the extremities because it's like whoa what is that I'm cold but then if you stay in there long enough it pumps to your internal organs to help you survive I think it's called the hunter reflex I did a video with Paul check about that um, but it's very important polar plunging is one of my favorite life hacks I highly recommend it plus it's kind of like you're in beauty school it kind of flushes all your inflammation out it's uh it's kind of like you know running a long distance without having to run that's how I look at it and much less taxing on your system, on your joints and your cardiovascular system. It's, it's easy. I'm all about that. I'm all about big results with small effort. But sometimes big results take big effort. And I'm down with that too. He said he can do it in four, no, not eight seconds, four seconds. Are you ready to watch? Let's make an excuse it now. I'm saying, ah, oh, maybe the first time. Let's, let's see. Tough. 4.28, get you some of that right there. <laughs> Danimal, that's why he's got the nickname. We did it. Just a little at a time, one day at a time. It's an inch by a cinch and it's hard by the yard. You don't have to make all the progress in one day, just make a little progress each day. And sometimes that means taking a break. And I highly recommend for you to do what it takes to make yourself a little scared or a little amped up for your workout. Even if that means videotaping it and showing it to other people. Catch my drift? There's a lot of sweat in my eyes. 